Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode of the BespokePost.com series we've got going on here. And uh, oh, it's a little bigger package than we've been getting as of late. Uh, now of course, as you can see too, it is a little bit of a different style of package. Uh, it does have this kind of the, the blue kind of band going across here with the uh, B for the bespoke post and uh, then here on the back there is the little tag that tells you what it is and uh, if I can say it right it's Mangia I believe uh, I probably am doing that wrong um, I do know it's Italian all right, everybody, well, here we go. We've got uh, a few products here. I went ahead and took the took the device here and out of the box and everything. So just to kind of speed things along a little bit. Now, uh, first thing we're gonna take care of is, of course, the card that comes with the box. Now, this is, of course, a standard card like they sent with all the boxes. It does say Mangia there. And, of course, I'm, so, I'm sure I'm saying that wrong. Uh, you know, unfortunately, I don't know my Italian very well, so I'm I'm probably uh, mangling the way the G is said or something like that. Now, inside it does say the Ten Commandments of Pasta Making, and it does have uh, ten different little things down here. I'm not going to go ahead and go through those. I figure if uh, you guys are interested in this and want to end up getting it, you'll find out when you get your box. Now it does say something about know your noodles and then it does have a handful of different noodles on here. I do know a few of them like the ravioli, there's linguine and there's fettuccine uh, noodles and of course all those are just they're just different shapes, different sizes, different textures, things like that. Uh, so definitely a nice little bit of information in this. Uh, next we'll go ahead with something simple. We've got the uh, wooden spoon here. Now. I do not know what kind of wood this is. Uh, it, it's very nice. I love the way that, uh, that the wood grain is on this. It's the swirling kind of uh, makes me think of like, oh, I don't know, maybe, maybe like a walnut or something like that, which is very possible it could be. Um, this does have a, a fairly heavy feel uh, compared to maybe the cheapo ones that you get from the local uh, department stores and everything. It also has a fairly deep um, uh, cup for the uh, for the uh, spoon or the or ladle part here. With the it does have the two slats, so you could drain soup out if you were uh, say making something like um, small noodles or something like that. You could of course scoop them out with this and drain let the water drain out. Uh, next, and I'm going to go ahead and leave it in the bag here because this is a flour. Uh, it does say organic semolina, and uh, this is mound grassy is the is the producer or uh, you know the or the reseller or whoever it is manufacturer maybe. Um, it does say that this is made in Italy, so uh, I, I'm guessing maybe this is a common type of flour that they use for uh, pasta making maybe. Uh, it's organic Durham wheat semolina is what it says and it is a two and a half pound or almost two and a half 2.2 pounds excuse me uh, of flour there and it does have the uh, USDA stamp on here for being organic and it also says that it is uh, GMO free now on the back here it shows it being used for uh, they have pictures of bread of pasta and some various other things uh, now we've got the book here and uh, this, is, this is a pretty nice book, nice hardback book here. Uh, has uh, the gold kind of imprinting. Looks like it's got a, uh, a little bookmark there. So uh, you can keep your page here. And it says, uh, the Frankie's Spuntino. So I'm guessing, you know, I'm not sure what Spuntino means, but I'm guessing that's an Italian word for some type of uh, like a, a cooking book or a, a directory or something like that. It says com kitchen companion and cooking manual. And uh, as we open it up, kind of flip through it here, uh, says it's to their grandmothers. There's a couple of pictures there, I'm sure of the fellows that did this. Now we've got the contents here 
and it has some information. It says something about, uh, talks about equipment and pantries. We've got antipasto, sandwiches and soups. They've got stuff in here about salads, pasta, meat and other main courses, Sunday sauce, and desserts. Let's see, it looks like it's got some story and some basic information, maybe some history on different types of foods and uh, cooking and kitchen utensils and things like that. Has some, uh, looks like some recipes in here, of course, uh, which I would, I would basically assume that it would have. It does have all, has some colored pictures in here. It shows some of the, uh, some different noodles that it looks like they make. Uh, looks like some spaghetti and fettuccine and, and different ones like that. Definitely looks like it's going to have some better quality foods than maybe some of the stuff I have. I have uh, a few basic ones that are, that are kind of canned foods and things like that. This looks like, uh, you know, you're going to be making stuff by scratch and so you know you're going to definitely know what's inside that stuff when you make it so there you go there and then we'll go ahead and get to the device right here and uh, this device right here is a pasta maker um, now it doesn't make the actual dough for the pasta this is more so i guess to be more accurate this is more of a pasta cutter um, to an extent it has uh, two sections here for cutting pasta and then it has this section here that uh, is for um, basic, basically pressing out the, um, the pasta dough. So we've got a couple of pieces here. Um, this one right here is a, is a clamp which goes on right here, hooks on right there and will then clamp onto the bottom of your counter so this isn't moving around when you're turning the handle. And then the handle would go into these pieces here. So you've got that right there and you go ahead and turn. And I'm sure you can probably hear this kind of grinding away there a little bit. Uh, that was this first one is for something that would be more like a spaghetti noodle um, very thin maybe maybe a sixteenth of an inch wide or or even less and then you've got much wider one up here uh, looks like those are a little bit more than a quarter of an inch wide for this one here so nice wide noodles and then a nice thin noodle and then here with this part there's this knob right here now I'm not sure how well you can see it. It'll basically be this roller right here. We've got two, one here and one here. So there and there. This one right here moves with this and uh, right now it's separated out. And then as I kind of pull it and turn it, that will get together very close. So uh, it goes from a number one, which is a very, very thin one, which would be great for making over here with the spaghetti you could make like an angel hair pasta kind of thing or you can of course adjust it up and make it really really thick on uh, there on number seven and with number seven I'm thinking you would have something more like a uh, linguine or something like that which is usually a much thicker noodle it's of course wider but it's it's also thicker overall um, so it has a much firmer kind of uh, uh, of a uh, bite to it um, more more al dente if I uh, if I'm saying that correctly I'm hoping so uh, now this is by the uh, Weston uh, company and uh, I did see they did have a little red tag in there uh, I already tossed it in with the box but uh, the red tag said that if you don't have all of the components here go ahead and make sure that you call or get in contact with the uh, Weston company so that they can make sure to get you the parts that are, might be missing or if any of them are damaged. That way they can go ahead and make it right. Uh, something else I did want to mention with this is this is all a stainless steel construction. So, uh, you know, when you go to clean it, um, it should be fairly, fairly easy to clean, and with it being stainless steel, it tends to be uh, more antibiotic than uh, than some other stuff, say than like woods or uh, just basic steels and things like that. 
and uh, you know if you want to check this out this or any of the other boxes that are available from bespokepost.com there is the link down there in the description below and don't forget of course to check out our social media outlets that are down there also on your way down there or on your way back up don't forget to hit that uh, thumbs up button and also that subscribe button right next to that subscribe button of course is the bell icon you can go ahead and select that and set it up to be notified of when new videos will be coming out here on world of me for the bespokepost.com series or any of the other series that we have going on uh, if you don't feel like hitting that subscribe button there's gonna be a little logo floating around over here that's the world of me logo and you can subscribe that way alright guys well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up this of course was another episode from the bespoke post dot com series we have on world of me and again my name is cougar I would like to wish you guys all a good day and I will see you later bye